Hey guys, there will be no intro today. I know you guys have been loving the Christmas intro and I really, really appreciate it, but this is a very serious video and I wanna give a massive trigger warning to anyone who does not like subjects uh, that we discussed that are very dark. So I just wanna let you guys know in case you are not interested in hearing any of that. But today we are discussing Jeffree Star. This has to do with allegations that came out in October of this year, okay? We're not just talking about old stuff. We're not trying to bring up old stuff from the past and trying to make something out of nothing. This is stuff that has also occurred this year, October, September, things that occurred this year. This is relevant information and it's also very crazy. So if you guys were not made aware, this past October, there was an article that was released on Insider. Now, now, this article was released by a journalist for Insider, Kat. She tweeted out this article when it was first made public and Jeffrey actually blocked her because of this article that she wrote. So a lot of people felt that was very telling. She said, Jeffrey Star has been accused of a months long investigation I conducted, found multiple allegations of violence in $10,000 hush money payment offers for his accusers. This article was titled, Jeffrey Star Accusers Say the Makeup Mogul Has a History of and hush money offers. This is an extremely telling article and I do have a full video detailing, you know, the stories that were told by one of the alleged victims, Gage Arthur, and also a podcast with full context without me having to censor at all. It's on my No Bleeps podcast and he tells his name. He is not hiding in this article when he gave on the record statements. I'll give you a snippet from my video from October telling you guys a little bit about what happened to him, but I do have the full video and I will link it for you guys so you guys can know fully exactly what he is saying happened to him by Jeffree Star. Four people have spoken with Insider and said that Star did things to them without consent and five people told Insider that they personally saw Jeffrey use some sort of something that can hurt other people as a way to intimidate them when he was around them. And then it says that five people told Insider that in 2009, Jeffrey used something that can hurt someone on a teen who rejected his affections in a movie theater. This person is said to be Gage Arthur. November 11th is when they went to the movies together. Gage Arthur was not giving Jeffrey the affection that he had wanted. And they were at the movie theater and Jeffrey got up and walked out of the theater. And when they follow Jeffrey out of the movie theater into the parking lot, this witness says that Jeffrey changed Gage around the car and had something in his hand that could be used to hurt someone. Um, the teen later stayed in Jeffrey's apartment, the teen being Gage Arthur, and told Insider that Jeffrey gave him something basically to make him not totally aware. And basically something occurred where this person that was not fully aware was doing something to Jeffrey while they were not fully aware. And apparently Jeffrey's attorney has denied any of this, any of the stuff that has been said and also questioned the reliability of the sources. If you guys don't remember any of this going down, it is because when this article came out, this was when Jeffrey Star and this boy he was hanging out with decided to break up. And this was the same time that Jeffrey said that his boyfriend or the person that he was hanging out with had robbed him. And during all of this drama, people were so caught up in wondering whether or not his boyfriend had left his baby mama in order to be with Jeffrey and actually robbed him. And nobody was really paying attention to this insider article. And Jeffrey never addressed this article. He never came out to speak on it. He really avoided it, which is obviously very rare for Jeffrey. If something is said about him, he usually comes out and says that it's crazy or that it's not true. People have made stuff up about him. He chose not to talk about it and instead just kind of address this boyfriend drama that he was going through and he did not ever once mention the insider article now in this insider article they basically said that gage arthur told his side of the story of what happened between him and jeffrey star and after they had contacted jeffrey star's lawyers about gage arthur and asked them to comment on what gage arthur had said and what other people in this article were saying gage arthur then reached out to insider and decided that he was going to retract his statement. He said that he was just not remembering things correctly and allegedly messaged other people that had spoken to Insider and told them that he could get them this deal with Jeffrey, that if they took their statements back, they could get money. 
Now, I quickly want to say, because I know not everyone has actually read the Insider article, at one point in time, Gage Arthur was homeless in his life. And so getting this exchange is probably a really amazing deal in his eyes. Honestly, telling his story to a court of law is definitely going to be expensive. Legal fees are very expensive. And so I've been seeing a lot of comments of people not understanding why someone would want to take this deal, but a lot of people are seemingly understanding based on his history. Now, one person did not want to be bought out for their silence, so they sent Insider these screenshots of Gage Arthur telling them that they could get paid if they took their statement back. So the messages read, The events I discussed with Business Insider were from many years ago. I am not sure I am remembering things correctly, and I may have misinterpreted things. I have decided to retract my communications to Business Insider and told them they don't have authority to publish anything I discussed with them. To resolve all of this, Jeffrey has agreed to pay you $10,000 if you choose to do the same. Send a number and I'll send it over to you. This was pretty much at the time all we had of Jeffrey possibly having sent people money in order to get them to, you know, take their statements back and say that, you know, I didn't remember the events correctly. But this week, there was a post made by Sticky Drama and they posted a photo of what looked to be like an agreement of rules that someone had to follow if they were to get a certain amount of money and also a photo of a check. And this check was written out to be $45,000. And apparently this was supposed to be proof that Jeffrey sent Gage Arthur this $45,000 check in exchange for him taking back his insider statement. So basically this they were saying that this was the hush money that Jeffrey was paying this person in order to take their statement back and say that Jeffrey didn't do things to them, which people have said makes him look very guilty. But you know, for legal reasons, I must say, you know, it's not 100%, but I'm just letting you guys know what has been put on the internet this week. Now, in this sticky drama post, in the settlement payment agreement, the screenshot says that within two business days of signing this agreement, Mr. Arthur shall be paid $25,000. If Business Insider does not publish the article about Mr. Star within three months of the effective date, Mr. Arthur shall receive an additional $25,000. Anthony Vanity and Donnie Artaud have also retracted their statements to Business Insider. Mr. Arthur shall receive an additional $10,000 for contacting each of Mr. Vanity and Mr. Artaud for a total of an additional $20,000. So basically, According to this agreement, if Gage Arthur took his statement back and, you know, Insider didn't publish this article and also he was getting extra money for reaching out to other people that were interviewed by Insider and getting them to also get under this agreement and also take their statements back. So essentially what they're saying is Jeffrey was offering him money not only to take a statement back but to get others to do it too. Insider posted another article titled Jeffrey Star's accusers were paid $45,000 by a Jeffrey Star Cosmetics executive leaked documents say. Saying that this document this Bank of America check appears to show $45,000 and it was paid out to Arthur. He goes by Gage. That's his middle name. He goes by his middle name. For on September 28th of 2020, four days after Arthur wrote Insider expressing his desire to retract his allegations. Bank of America's merchant check verification system confirmed to Insider that the account number on the check belonged to one of its tellers and that it was purchased by Scott C. Andrews. And later on in the article, they clarify that the image of the check appears to show it was purchased by Scott C. Andrews, the chief financial officer CFO of Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Star's makeup and merchandise company, 2017 California State Records for Jeffree Star Cosmetics lists Andrews as the CFO. In the article, they also say that on the alleged agreement that Gage Arthur agreed to in order to get that money in the first place, Jeffrey Starr signed off on the agreement. This is alleged. They're saying that this is his signature on what is supposed to be the agreement. Obviously, you can't see the full document and Jeffrey's signature. So, you know, I don't blame you guys if you don't believe it, but I'm just saying this is what is in the article. Now, Jeffrey Starr's team has not responded to Insider for comments. So, you know, I have to say it's all alleged. Obviously, there's all the receipts that are coming out, but, you know, 
Jeffrey hasn't said like, yeah, this is true or anything like that. So this is just one side that I'm telling you guys. I'm giving you all the information that has just been put onto the internet and I can't say for sure if it's a hundred, but you know, I'm just giving you guys what I can. A lot of people are just like wondering if you're innocent, why are you paying people to stay silent? Uh, that's obviously really sketchy to hear and yeah i mean that's pretty much it like it's just sketchy the whole thing is sketchy it makes him look guilty but obviously it's not 100 percent <laughs> what these documents are so i can't say that he is or not but that's just what people are saying about him a lot of people also thought it was a very big coincidence that that when all of this news broke about there being this image of a check and jeffrey possibly having paid someone off he announced that he was doing jeffrey's 12 days of giveaways and people said that the graphics looked a little rushed and like who does 12 days of giveaway that doesn't end on Christmas it ends on the 18th so they don't know if that was rushed or they were just trying to create a distraction I don't know you guys that's once again I'm just telling you guys what is being said on the internet this is obviously a very crazy intense story and I'm just trying to give you guys all the information that I have right now I'll be interested to know what you guys think about this let me know what you guys think in the comments down below I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in the next video bye guys Oh, my God.